Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit and I wanted to come on here and show you guys this little guy, or big guy, I guess, if you compare it to most of my planners, it's probably my biggest planner. Um, yeah, it's kind of a different thing. I've never used this size in discs before, so I kind of wanted to talk about it. I posted a little bit of um, like a, a couple reels and some photos on my Instagram and people have had some questions about it so I figured it'd be easier to make a video and I meant to do this like two weeks ago life just got ahead of me and I lost track of time and didn't have the opportunity to film this earlier so I apologize but here I am better late than never I guess um, so yeah let's get into it I am still using my little pocket and passport size planners um, kind of on and off um, although lately I have been totally been digging this guy and so I've been more consistent in this planner than the other ones um, but yeah let me talk about it first of all this is a Moterm cover in the a6 plus size so it's a little bit bigger I believe than the regular a6 cover um, but even then as you can see it is still too small for what I'm the size I'm using of discs um so just keep that in mind i have like a pink little matte ollie clip there um it is in the lychee white leather and then i'm gonna move these aside my little crystals here but this guy is um a disc planner as you can see this is what the inside looks like i love the way this is set up i love the soft pinks and like taupes and creams it's so cute i'm obsessed <laughs> And then the rose gold discs kind of provide a little bit of a pop of color, a little accent there. Um, so yeah, so I got the idea to set up a disc planner because I randomly stumbled upon cloth and papers. Um, I think it was the Instagram. I don't know how I ended up over there because I'm not typically a cloth and paper like fan. Um, it's probably one of my least favorite companies, but I saw that they came out with a new size. I'm not sure how long ago. Like I said, I, I'm not like super up to date on them or what they're releasing, but it was a what they call a cloth and paper petite or CP petite size, which is basically a six size. It's like a couple mil millimeters off, but um, I was intrigued because, um, as you all know, I love small planners, but sometimes the pocket or passport size planners, I do feel every now and then that they're a little bit small for planning when I'm very busy or have a lot going on. Most of the time it's enough space, but every now and then I do feel like, oh, I wish the page size was bigger. And so the next size up would be a six. As far as I know, there's not kind of in between there, but uh, other than pocket plus, but um, so I was like, oh, that I like a six size. I actually have I don't think I have it here. Oh, yes, I do. I actually have an A6. Um, this is like a dupe for the Hobonichi um, A6 size planner. So this is a bound planner. I haven't used it in a long time. I bought it a long time ago. It didn't really work out, but I do like the size. Like this cover size specifically is a little bit narrower. And I really like that because it's still portable. This cover is wider. So... If you can kind of tell there, it's like about a centimeter wider, I would say, on so maybe a total of two centimeters. I don't know. I didn't measure it, but as you can see, it's slightly wider. So anyways, I knew I liked the A6 size. I just kind of didn't love it like in rings. Rings kind of get annoying to me sometimes because when I'm writing, the ring, the actual ring mechanism gets in my way. And so that kind of irritates me, which is why I was like, ooh, maybe A6 in discs would be awesome because if you didn't know, let me move these little bookmarks out of here. Um, using this cover changes it that, but with discs, you can flip this around like a notebook like that. And I've always loved that about discs that you can do that. So that makes it super comfy to write in. Um, and I know that with dis with rings, you can also slit the pages and be able to like, you know, take them out to write like that. But I personally in my disc or, oh my goodness, this is going to be a hot mess. In my ring planners, I prefer thinner paper. And so when you cut the slits on thinner paper and you take them in and out over and over again, it kind of 
tends to ruin the paper and I don't, don't really like that. So anyways, and I'm just kind of over rings, that sort of thing. So I decided to just go for it and set up an A6 disc planner in hopes that it would work out and just kind of to see what, what it'd be like and to see if it could be a contender for like a actual planner that I wanted to use. So what I did was I first ordered um, some discs, which originally I had these cute little guys. I love these. I love this like tor tortoise um, kind of design on these and the little heart in the middle. These are Happy Planner discs, I believe. I love these, but um, I was having some issues with page turning, which I'll get into in just a second. But I initially started with these ended up getting aluminum discs to help with the pages turning more smoothly um which these would look so cute in here too <laughs> anyways okay i'm sorry i'm all over the place today <laughs> um yeah so i got discs or i you know used the ones i had i printed a bunch of inserts in a six size um most of my inserts are from um peanuts planner co and so you just print a six ring inserts and instead of hole punching them for rings you hole punch them for discs which is what I did. The cover here this clear one is from cloth and paper it's for their CP petite size but I think it's more of like I don't know if it's supposed to be this short but I feel like it's maybe because it's supposed to be for a notebook cover. Um, it doesn't stick out from the pages very much and so when I I made myself some dividers. Um, I originally had them sticking out further. They weren't quite so low profile. So when I put the cover on, they really stuck out and I didn't like that. So I went and cut like half of the divider part, the tab part off so that they would be way more low profile um, because I thought it looked funky. And it also helped because with this cover being a little bit too small with the size discs I have, which by the way, I think these are either one inch or like the ones that are pretty close. To, I think it's one inch. Yeah. Um, with that size discs, this cover does have a little bit of overhang. I think if you use smaller discs, it would work perfectly, but since my planner is a little bit on the chunkier side, I can't really size down the discs. So I don't mind the overhang. It's like not ideal, but it's not like a deal breaker for me. So the fact that I had to cut down the dividers for like the clear cover to not look weird also helped so that there wouldn't be as much overhang with this leather cover too. So, okay. Um, yeah, so I just put some random deco here. I have some little uh, cute journaling cards, kind of decorative cards from the planner, or not the planner spot, um, Queen City Designs. That's where this planner belongs to. One is from two. Ox and Pip little acrylic tab. I have some stickers in here and here. This uh, card here in the front is also from Queen City Designs Co. And then this is an Ollie clip. Um, so originally when I set this up, I was having some trouble with the pages turning smoothly and I someone told me on Instagram that plastic discs tend to have that issue more so than aluminum or metal discs. So that's why I decided to change to these. I do think it helped but I still felt like it wasn't as smoothly as I'd like. And so what I've actually been doing is for example this, this is a Catsbresso um, acetate i actually this was already punched for wait was this yes i had ordered this for mini happy planner size a long time ago so i cut it down but i still had to go in and cut the stem part of the punch so this this part here this straight part i just went and like trimmed a little bit more to make it wider and that helped immensely with the page turning it was very very uh, tedious to do to all the pages in my planner, but I do think it makes a huge difference. Um, I think part of the reason why it wasn't as smooth too is because I had some inserts and like some um, dashboards from different brands or different with different hole punches because the, the disc punch varies a lot between brands. I think that also um, is part of the issue. 
honestly, it wasn't bad. I just wanted it to be like this, like super smooth. It wasn't horrible. I could still flip the pages. You just kind of had to like push a little bit more. So it would have been fine, but it was something that always drove me kind of crazy about discs. So once I went in and trimmed all the little stems of all the inserts and dividers and stuff in here, it's been fine. So I, I'm really glad I did that. I think it was worth it, even though it was a pain in the butt to do when I was doing it. Okay. Sorry about the long tangents. <laughs> I had some caffeine too, so I'm kind of like all over the place. But yeah, so discs are from Amazon, by the way. I think I forgot to mention that. This is from Cat's Espresso Co. Um, this vellum is from the planner spot. It was a part of the, the subs last month? Recently. Super cute. I love the planner spot vellums. This is actually a freebie from Nada Notes on Instagram. I will put her little IG handle right here across the screen. She's got tons of really good freebies. And then all, pretty much all the rest of the inserts in here are from Cat's Presso Co. or freebies from Nada Notes and like a few random ones. But this is Peanuts Planner Co. This is also a freebie from Nada Notes. I use this to keep um, track of friends' anniversaries and stuff like that. This one is to track my PTO, obviously, if you couldn't tell. Okay, and then these I got from Cloth and Paper. They were, they don't have these in this size, unfortunately, in stock. So I ordered mini Happy Planner size and trimmed it down. So I didn't have to re-punch these because they were already punched for Happy Planner size. I just went in and trimmed a little bit of the stems and then just trimmed like two size for this. And so instead of it being a whole page, it's like half, a little bit more than half the page. So it's just a little divider, little page marker that says inbox. This is where I just put tasks that I need to eventually do. The dividers themselves I made with my Cricut machine. I bought this material on um, Amazon. It's matte graphics paper. It's actually printable, but I don't know how well it works with inkjet printers. I didn't feel like trying it. I just wanted the actual divider and tab so I could put a sticker on it, which is what I did. I had my Cricut actually cut out the mushroom shape, which you can tell is not um, perfect. It's a lot wider here in the mushroom part. Um, so if I do these again, I would probably go back and fix those so they're not so like big, but they work. It's fine. And I didn't have very much of this material, so I didn't want to redo them. Um, just because of the way they look which you once it's in the planner you kind of can't tell so I really like them because they're thin they're not bulky at all they don't add too much bulk to the planner um, and then my goal with this planner is to just make it like super simple super straightforward and not too much like not very many stickers etc um, and then I just have my list section here there's a bunch of like various lists like to buy lists Amazon lists wish lists etc all the lists you can think of that I feel like I need in my planner. And these are all um, a freebie insert from Peanuts Planner Co. on the Facebook group. And so that works perfectly for that. My next section is notes. This is a little transparent um, page flag, or not page flag, sticky note from Cloth and Paper. I actually decided to go ahead and subscribe to their monthly box. I don't know how um like how long I'll be subscribed to them because like I said their their designs just don't speak to me they're a little boring in my opinion this is just my opinion <laughs> but I do like that they have this you know you can get the box in um the size of the main planner that you use so some of the items will come already sized for that specific planner size um and since this um a6 disc planner is not very common they're one of the few companies that offer stuff like that for this size obviously inserts I can punch myself but my hole puncher which is a mini happy planner or I mean the happy planner brand cannot really punch through anything very firm or thick so I can't like make my own thick dividers or like dashboards which is why I decided to subscribe just to see if it'd be worth it we'll see though I've only gotten one box so far so these are just notes um Different notes for different things. I have some workouts in here, meal plan ideas, etc. Projects for the home, Nespresso stuff. Um, yeah, 
And then I also added these guys. So these came in the sub box, which I do like these inserts for notes. It's the Cornell style of uh, note pages with the grid on the right side and then this part's lined. And it's perfect because they're already punched. They're the perfect size. I actually didn't, or did I? I can't remember now if I ended up trimming the inside of the little stems for these. I don't think I did actually. And they work pretty well, so not too bad. But yeah, I really like those, so so far so good. This is a vellum from the planner spot. And then I have my daily section. I started my dailies with the um, Peanuts Planner Co. I forget what it's called, but it's this kind of layout where you have like the grid column here and then the rest is just like a checklist. I really like that. But then I started realizing that a lot of days I only used about half the page. So then I ended up um, downloading this freebie from Nada Notes, which is, let me go to a blank one. Um, as you can see, two days per page. I do like them, however, I feel like it's a lot of wasted space like around the boxes. So then I realized, oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. You could easily just use this same insert and just do one day up here and then the next day here. <laughs> so I'm probably going to go back to these. Um, I just want to use these up because I already printed them, so I don't want to waste the paper. By the way, the paper I use is, um, let me find some real quick. Okay, so a long time ago, I had set up a mini happy planner, um, and so I bought this paper from handyforms.com. I will have them linked down below as well. It's an awesome website that carries a bunch of different size papers already punched and cut for you, which is awesome, and it's really great quality paper. I don't know the pound of paper, this like the pound size or whatever you call that, um, I think it's like it feels like maybe 32 pounds I'm not sure but it's really nice and soft and really good quality paper so I had a bunch of this paper left over from when I had a mini happy planner so all I did was just trim these down um, all I did was just you know trim them down to a six size and then just trim the inside of the little mushroom shape um, so yeah that's the paper I'm using <clears throat> and the only reason I did that was because I had a bunch of that paper left over, so I wanted to use it. Um, after my daily section, we go into my monthly section. This is also from the planner spot. The labels that I use for my little dividers on the top is this font, which um, are labels from Planner Monkey Co. The side ones are a different font, different brand. They're from... Um, Oh gosh, I think these ones are from Orestel, and I had to cut them because they were kind of bigger, so I just trimmed them to make them fit into the tabs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where they're from. Anyways, the monthly insert I'm using is Peanuts Platter Co. Surprise, surprise. Um, I also originally had these um, for a mini happy planner size. I think it's like just a random clear dashboard, or I can't remember where this came from. Something mini happy planner size because I remember trimming it down and then I just stuck this sticker here that says agenda and I use that to mark the month that we're in. And I'm just making my monthly super simple. Just highlighter and like a couple little stickers but otherwise super straightforward. Um, so yeah, so I'm using that until, whoops, did not, there we go. Until the end of this year and then I'll probably use the same ones for next year because these are a freebie also from Peanuts Planner Co., which I think she just released her 2024 ones recently, which is awesome. So I'm probably going to use the same ones just because they're free. Otherwise, we'll see. After that, I have my son's school section. So I have like his school calendar and um, some other stuff, information for his school. So I'm going to skip over that because it's um, um, just, you know, private info. And then I have these inserts, which are also from Peanuts Planner Co. I'm using these as like, um, like a monthly for my son's school. And I add like important things going on on here. Um, the planner spot vellum. This was a leftover piece, so it actually is a little short, but I didn't want to throw it away because it's pretty. So I just stuck it in here anyways. 
Um, and then this section is my menu slash grocery slash meal planning. I've been liking using these inserts for that. Also Peanuts Planner Co. The next section says academic and I just use this section for what I'm studying. I'm studying, um, I have like an online boot camp sort of thing. So I'm writing down like the different quizzes and readings that I have to do and just check crossing it off as I go. This is the task management insert from PPC, PS Planarco. This is an old vellum that I have from Aria's Daydream, I believe. It's super cute, so I just stuck it in here. Next up is my tracker section. I have one page of these um, re recurring tasks inserts for things that you do like very infrequently. Um, which I need to go back in and update and I still need to add to it. I'm kind of just like prepping for next year and trying to decide what I need to write in the inserts for next year. Behind that, I use the same insert but for our car like um, maintenance sort of things. And then I put a couple of these in here. I was going to use one for my steps and then one for my cycle tracking. But since I started this planner so late in the year, I decided not to start the steps one yet. I did put like some cycle info on here, but it's kind of like not really done. And then I'm using this tracker for, or this insert for my monthly tracker. Um, this is PPC and it's the compact version where it's on one page versus two. Um, and I'm just writing down a list of habits I want to keep track of. So I'm going to start using this in November. I did start one for October, but I kind of didn't really finish it. I could go back in and fill it in because I do have the info and like other planners. I just have been too lazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like having trackers. I, I actually do use them, but I've been so inconsistent with planners that I use one for a while, then another. And so then I never end up with a full habit tracker in one planner because I'm always planner hopping. But my goal is to have just one planner for 2024. So I'm testing this one out. <laughs> Next is my finances section. I use a bill tracker insert from PPC. Um, and I'm just putting a little dot with my dot marker on the bills that I have paid. I need to update it too because I have paid these. I just haven't marked them yet. And um, some online orders here. I have a savings tracker that I have yet to fill out. And then lastly is my miscellaneous section. This dashboard came from the cloth and paper sub box as well. It's all right. It's not the cutest thing, but it's kind of like a divider for this section, so it works out. Um, lastly, or not lastly, but close to last, I have my like recipe inserts. Um, I have been recently doing meal prepping, which I really like. I like. I think it works well for my family. Um, so I'm trying to write down some recipes that I see like on TikTok or like different apps. Um, and then this outbox divider came in a set with the inbox one. I did the same thing, sized it down. This one I did have to repunch because the outbox part is on the far right side of the page or, or of the divider. And so the mini happy planner size is a lot bigger than A6, so I had to trim it and repunch it. And this guy almost broke my punch, so that's when I decided that. I'm not going to be punching thick stuff like this again because <laughs> those punches are expensive. Oh my gosh, the snow here. Okay, um, lastly, just some other like blank notes pages um, for anything else I need to write. And then this came from the planner spot. Got like some sticky notes in the back um, and paper pad pages and stuff. This also came from the cloth and paper sub box. I still haven't figured out how to use it but I mean it's cute so I just stuck it in there <laughs> for my pen I've been using three different ones either this one or oh shoot I don't think I have it here yeah no it's in my bedroom but I've been using the um the um angel shop pen like the really pretty ones I have them literally all over there oh here's one Here's one, they're so gorgeous. I love her pens, they're so pretty. And I love the, the gel. This one's a ballpoint one that I had switched in here, but she does have a gel ink refill, which is my favorite to use. They're just so cute. But this planner, I was using that for a while, but this planner 
as you can tell it has a very like very subtle pink kind of beige and white tones to it so I, this was very bright in comparison um so i decided to switch to this little guy this is the uni petite i think the uni 1p pen and it's so cute it's a lot more comfortable i love chunky pens like this one and this one because i feel like they're more comfortable to hold than skinny pens and since the Moterm pen loops are nice and generous, it has no problem fitting either one of these pens. And so I just love the way it looks. Like the color wise, it just matches perfectly with this cover with the light pinks that I have going on. It's just, it's a vibe. So I'm loving this. Um, I do actually have a planner, not on the way yet, but hopefully soon it'll it'll ship um, from Naya Papery. And it is in the A6, like it's one of her A6 covers, but I requested for it to be made slightly bigger, like two centimeters wider, because her A6 folio covers are the same size as um, this Moterm, I believe, if I remember correctly, width-wise, it's the same width as this cover, and so I kind of went off of that and added two centimeters. I hope that it's enough. Um, if not, it'll at least be bigger than this, so I know it won't have as much overhang. Because I don't want it to be too big. I want it to fit just right. So I'm excited to try that out. And hopefully it's the perfect fit. I'm also excited for it because I ordered it in a very thin leather. Let me see if I have it here. Yeah. In the ballerina leather. So um, I can't remember if it was the last time. But one of my Naya Papery orders came with this sample. Oops. And this is a shade. It's kind of gloomy here. It's not really picking up as well as I'd like but you can see it's a nice gorgeous neutral light pink and I think it looks great with all these colors and so this leather is so thin and I love that because I'm hoping which in hindsight I probably should have messaged Nazreen and told her hey I want this to be as thin as possible because I don't know if they're going to put like lining on it they probably will but I'm still hoping that even with the lining that the cover will hopefully be able to bend backwards um, because this one does and obviously I can't put like the pages all the way back but it is kind of nice to bend the cover back like that and so this one has a big back pocket which makes it a little bit bulkier to do that um, so the one that I ordered from Naya Papery will hopefully be the right size and also thin enough to where it can fold back like that comfortably because I didn't get a big back pocket. Instead, I got a front pocket here. So I'm super, super excited. I literally cannot wait to get that. I mean, this Motrim is fine. I love the way it looks when it's open, but the overhang does get kind of annoying. But like I said, it's not like a, a deal breaker for me. I'll still continue to use it. But I think taking away the big back pocket will also make it a much more kind of slimmer, more compact size and so yeah I'm just really excited I hope it works out the way I'm imagining it will <laughs> also this shade is stunning so yeah I'm just really excited for that I hope it ships soon because I can't wait in the meantime I'll continue to use this Moterm term cover and yeah I've been really enjoying this it's super fun I um I'm trying to keep this minimal and not use any stickers at all besides a few here and there like you can see on my dailies like last week I used um, the this Tombow that came in my uh, planner spot subscription to highlight the days and then I used the matching stickers that came in the sub to like mark important events and so it's super minimal but still super cute and it draws your attention to those areas, which is what I want. And yeah, I just really like it. It's totally, totally my vibe. This is so me. <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I hope to continue using this and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it gave you some info that you may have been curious about if you were one of the ones asking questions about this planner on my Instagram. Um, I think it's a great size. I think it's a perfect size, actually. It's not too big and not too small, but it's, um, it's still, like, compact and portable, but yet not as small as, like, passport or pocket where you're kind of sometimes struggling to write everything you need to in one page, so. And it's nice because if you already own, like, a 
A6 ring planner, you can just print, you know, if you own printables for that size, you can just print those and just punch them with a disc punch instead of the ring punch and voila, you're set. So I think I will switch a few things around in the future, like for next year, if I do decide to use this for next year, um, just to kind of switch it up. I kind of want to try some clear plastic discs and see if maybe now that I because when I was using these plastic ones I hadn't trimmed the in like the paper and so I just immediately switched to aluminum rings to help with that and then I still ended up doing that anyway so I'm like I wonder if now it'd be okay to switch back to plastic because I already did that and maybe I won't have that page flipping issue um so I kind of want to try clear disc too we'll see all I know is that this size is just awesome in discs and I'm loving like the the look of this as well and I hope you guys did too I hope you at least enjoyed watching this even if you're not interested in this planner at all I love to watch planner videos on YouTube even though I have no plans to like try that specific planner they're showing but they're just kind of fun to watch so they also give you good ideas too unlike what to keep track in your planner etc so yeah um, if you have any other additional questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Um, I will do my best to answer those. And I hope you guys follow me on Instagram so you can see more pictures and videos of this guy, like reels and stuff. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching.